up everybody I want to do y'all a uh, boost mobile review on their unlimited data plan and their 23 gigabytes uh, data cap and see if their 23 gigabytes data cap uh, see if it slows down my uh video and i hope y'all like comment and subscribe after this video and i will uh come back and explain to y'all the video and everybody this is your boy byron and i wanted to talk y'all about boost mobile unlimited data plan and also I want to talk about their 23 uh, gigabytes data cap is it really unlimited it's unlimited but it's not unlimited for GLTE when you use more than 23 gigabytes so you can also uh, add the where well, you can get uh, unlimited HD movies for twenty dollars extra, and it says play unlimited HD, and it says unlimited four GLT for most everything else. And if you're looking for a family plan, it will cost you 30 bucks for each line a month. So if you add three lines, it will it will uh, be like uh, around about ninety dollars, close to a hundred for each additional line. And no matter it says no matter which unlimited plan you choose boost mobile gives you unlimited text talk we all know that unlimited uh music streaming and you can also add insurance on for seven bucks which is not that bad just in case you drop your phone in the water or your phone stop working and you can get uh mobile hotspot on boost mobile but uh you uh can only use eight gigabytes and after that eight gigabytes uh they reduce your speed to uh 128 kps uh killers per second so they slow it down and that's like 2G. And you can also add additional services if you want to. International service. And y'all already know about the phone insurance. Boost Mobile TV. And Boost Mobile deals. So. And y'all see here in fine print. Boost Mobile has no annual service contracts service is subject to terms and condition plans include unlimited domestic talk text and data high speed monthly data allowment 50 domestic Voice Roman minutes select devices and 411 directory service uh, calls. It says service extra state and local sales taxes 
and fees may apply when adding funds to your to the accounts. Payment due on monthly payment date. So don't do not uh, forget to pay your bill because your service will get suspended, and you gotta have significant amount of funds like if you are on a fifty dollar plan you gotta have you gotta add fifty dollars on there and then they will adduct from from that from your balance And it says right here, quality of service, practice, unlimited gigs, customers who use more than 23 gig gigabytes of data during a billing cycle will be deprivatized during times and places where the Sprint network is congested. So during... Depending on what area you're in, you know, you would notice, experience a lot of buffering in your videos, your YouTube videos. And also, we, when you upload, uh, like, uh, you upload, like, videos or you uh, load uh, web pages and stuff like that. And this also said the mobile hotspot draw draws from plans, high speed data allowment are limited to eight gigabytes if on the fifty dollar unlimited plan. Yeah, y'all know about that. So I'm gonna show y'all uh what if the 23 gigabytes data cap is slowing down my youtube videos when i watch uh like movies or other videos i'm gonna show y'all that okay y'all i'm back uh i'm gonna show y'all see if this buffering i'm gonna play it for like 30 seconds to like one minute Josh Ernest, who right up to the end argued that the Russians meddled with the U.S. election for one reason. You didn't need a security clearance to figure out who benefited from malicious Russian cyber activity. The president-elect didn't call it into question. He called on Russia to hack Secretary Clinton. So he certainly had a pretty good sense of whose side this activity was coming down on. And Josh Ernest joins us now. Okay, y'all. It has not buffered. Uh, I'm going to play... Uh, I'm actually going to play... Oh, thanks for joining more. us. I want your reaction to what Sarah Sanders just said. Uh, good morning, Martha, and I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to be on the show today. <clears throat> Let me just remove the mystery here and explain to you and your viewers why it is false to say that President Obama ordered a wiretap of Trump Tower. This may come as some surprise to the current occupant of the Oval Office, but the President of the United States does not have the authority to unilaterally order the wiretapping of an American citizen. If the FBI decided to use their wiretapping authority in the context of a counterintelligence or criminal investigation, it would require FBI investigators officials of the Department of Justice going to a federal judge and making a case and demonstrating probable cause to use that authority to conduct the investigation. That is a fact. And here's the other thing that we know, Martha, and let's just remove the mystery from all this. We know exactly why President Trump tweeted what he tweeted, because there is one page in the Trump White House crisis, crisis management playbook, and that is simply to tweet or say something outrageous Josh, to distract I from the scandal. And the bigger the scandal... Okay, it didn't buffer. I played it for uh, 1 minute and 40, uh, 43 seconds. So I'm going to show y'all uh, 
exactly how much data I have used 